Hey everybody, I wanted to show you guys a little bit about a service called Google Books and how it can be beneficial to you as a genealogist. So the first thing to get to it is you just go to books.google.com and then once you're there you'll see a pretty familiar or generic looking search box and in that search box you can search millions upon millions of books. So if you're not familiar with the service, what Google has done is they have taken uh, millions of books, scanned them in, and then run them through OCR or optical character recognition. And what that does is makes it searchable so that way you can type in a sentence, a phrase, uh, a word, a common theme, and it will go ahead and pull up any matching books with that information in it. So if the books are older books that are no longer covered under copyright, you'll then be able to either screen capture or download an entire copy of that book. However, if the books are still covered under copyright and they're available for purchase, they'll give you a link uh, to a website where you can purchase the book or you can take the ISBN number that they give you and plug that into a service like WorldCat and pull it up in libraries in your area. So I'm going to show you two examples that I've used Google Books for. Uh, one is to find out more information about a person. So in this case, I'm going to type in one of my great, 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 great paternal grandparents. So his name is Benjamin Lentz. And then I'm also going to type in South Carolina, where I know he lived at the time. So once I click search books, you'll see here that the first one that comes up is roster of South Carolina patriots um, in the American Revolution. So when I click on that, it's going to go ahead and pull it up. And this is what the book looks like. And you can see it's gone ahead and showed us the times where the phrases we typed in popped up. So in this case, it's using South Carolina. If we want to narrow our search a little bit, so we already know that this book is about South Carolina, we just want to find out more information about Benjamin Lentz, I can type that into the search bar and then hit go, and it strictly searches in the book. So you can see there's two pages in the book where his name comes up, and this one's on page 563, and it talks about a little bit about when he enlisted, what um, battles he was a part of, and then an injury that he received during one of those battles, as well as discharge information. So you can use Google Books to search for actual people. And the other thing that you can do is to help make your research a little bit more three-dimensional and learn a little bit more about your ancestors in a specific time period is you can search for books about that time period or books written in that time period. So the history that we go back and look at today, our ancestors actually lived many years ago. So one example is I live in a town called Williamson County and then my great aunts actually went to school here in the county back in uh, the 20s. So I typed in Williamson County, which is the county I live in, and then this book right here is all about uh, the school system in Williamson County during that time period. So you can see here, since this book is no longer under copyright, you can see that you can download the whole book uh, to look at or to view through. You can see that you can actually click and it'll take you to those portions. And it's just interesting to go back and look about the population demographic. So they were of Swedish descent. So you can see how much of the population at the time attending those schools were Swedish. You can find out how many teachers each of their schools have, what the school conditions were like. And it just kind of gives you a more three-dimensional view rather than your standard birth, marriage, and uh, death information. So I hope you found this information helpful and you will look at using Google Books in the future to help find some either some more information about an ancestor in your family tree or help to kind of create a more three-dimensional 
uh, view of one of your current ancestors that you have information about. So I hope this helps and good luck searching your family tree.